Assuming the roles of baby Jesus, Satan, her mother, and herself, the pride of Duluth, Minnesota, Maria Bamford is one of the most original stand-up comics touring right now. In a recent Los Angeles Times article, comedy filmmaker Judd Apatow described her as one of the few people that really makes you laugh hard who's doing something interesting and insane. Apatow's Apatow's choice words are fitting, given that some of Maria Bamford's most outrageous material stems from the multiple characters she embodies to explore her feelings around anxiety and mental illness. Her incredible array of characters have also made her a Hollywood staple as a voiceover talent in shows like Stuart Little 2, Back at the Barnyard, and Word Girl. In addition to her numerous late-night talk show appearances, Maria Bamford is touring in support of her Comedy Central CD, Unwanted Thoughts Syndrome. But right now, Maria Bamford joins me live in Studio Q. Hello. Sheehan, when you say it like that, all tight like in an essay. Sounds really good. <laughs> is that you? Is that I can't? Yeah, no, this is me. That's this you. Is me. There I you mean, are. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I'm sorry. sorry. I, 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 get, I do get... Uh, how are you? Uh, well, <laughs> Thank you. I'm very happy to have you. You know, it's this is one of those occurrences where I'm actually meeting you on the air. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. It's, Although it's, I've known you because I'm a fan of yours. Oh, yeah. that's so nice. To oh, you, this is all you new. Are. You're in Canada. You're no, coming to some some guy's show. You're. But, it's but, but, exciting. Yeah. Um. But uh. Yeah. Uh. I I I love it here already. It seems like a very. Smart. <laughs> smart. You know, thinking about you being here in Canada, actually, you, you grew up in Duluth, Minnesota, yes, yes. western edge of Lake Superior. It's like not that far from Canada. Does this feel like home a little it, bit to you? Not well, maybe not this room. More but. friendly than home. Uh, my own <laughs> city is on the fence about me, but uh, no, because <laughs> everything, uh, well, everything in the states seems uh, now they everything's owned by the same corporation or something so you go on a radio station and there isn't uh as much time there seems like a lot of time to talk like we could be here for for days here yeah. yeah well we could be here for days it's fun yeah. let's <laughs> just explore some ideas but you have you have uh, uh you have public radio in america yes, and yeah. in, in minnesota in particular minnesota but but uh, they they don't uh i don't i don't think i've ever been interviewed or, or, or. They, t- they don't put you on the air. Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, we'll we'll teach them. You're on PRI oh, now. You're on. Right. We're we're, we're in, we're in the states too. Uh, listen, g- growing up in. By the way, do you have a, an accent or a, or a persona, a character that you think is Canadian? I don't want to put you on the spot. I d- I don't think so because well. we d- we uh no, I mean, I I wouldn't want to offend anyone here. You've been so gracious and kind. Uh, I, I don't. I don't, like I don't think. from Illinois. Yeah, Illinois. I don't think. <laughs> I don't think I, I can only uh, do my own uh, people. <laughs> right, right. Speaking of your own people, and and so you grow up in Duluth, Minnesota. When did you know that this is this was your destiny that you wanted to go into comedy? Well, there weren't any other options. And, uh, <laughs> what, 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 what do you mean by that? <laughs> well, just that, uh, it seemed like it was the one thing that was going real well. And, and, um, then I would, uh, wait tables or, uh, do something else poorly during the day. And then <laughs> comedy seemed to be going well. So I kept doing it. it go, go, when did it start going well? Were you, were you a, the class clown? Were you well, funny in school? Mm, when I say going well, I mean <laughs> <laughs> within my limited, uh, uh, you know, I was at performance art venues and, you know, lots of supportive spaces where women were really trying things, you know, just go out there and, right. and um, you know, it's not about, you know, oh, is this a finished piece? And, you know, it's just like, where you know, it's discovering on stage in front of people who haven't paid thank goodness and uh <laughs> so I, yeah I, 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 when was the moment that you besides this the, that's modesty when, when was the moment that you knew that this was something you're, you're good at uh, you got a handle on um let me see i liked uh let me see um i mean i think when you when uh you get booked again or somebody goes oh Oh yeah, I think uh, somebody was like, oh, "Oh, we'd like to have you on our show." You know, just if somebody else is interested, it's like, "What? This is awesome!" That's and that's, that still happens. You know, it's like, yeah. "Oh, great!" Of course, that happens. Yeah, yeah, You're I very mean, popular. You know that. You know, but I mean, you know, when uh, it's just always nice to be asked, and uh, and um, yeah, then then you feel like. Are you anxious about whether you're good enough? Of course. Yeah. Yeah, because. 
And the problem, you know, you want to do a good job. What's like the worst that could happen, though? People don't laugh. People could be disgusted. <laughs> they say, this is, this is monstrous. She isn't. She's a lazy. Um, she's a lazy. Uh, yeah, she, I think she's it, a lazy. She's a lazy. <laughs> yes, yes. And uh, yeah, I think um, I don't know why that would be terrible. Why would that be terrible? See, it's not so bad. It you isn't. Know, you have terrible. no reason to be. You got a good career. I know. No, I, everything's great. Everything, no, I'm living in a gravy boat filled with gravy. <laughs> I. I'm very, everything's great. No, I, I've, I've sincerely made it past any point that I, 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 I no, I, I am just coasting right, right now. <laughs> just, you're yeah. folding it in. I am, Yeah, all right, fine, thank you. Yeah, yeah. That's a, a great thrill to us and, and <laughs> no, me and all the no, listeners. No. I mean, you're, you've, part of your, your, your charm and, and the, the way you've made your name is doing these characters. Right. When you invoke uh, and use the voices of your family, your mother, your sister. Th- th- does that get testy at home? Has that ever caused trouble? Certainly, certainly, yeah. yes. The, the, yes. But because it's a big part of your act. So yeah. what? What does your family say? Well, my mom hasn't been so bothered about it. She seems to like um, some sort of, uh, you know, sideline attention. Uh, you know, so whatever. There's as many people she can tell at restaurants uh, that. I'm a comedian, uh, is good. <laughs> and then, um, hi, are you, I'm sorry, you're busting the table. Could I, my daughter is, you know, fairly well known as a comedian. D- do you want me to wipe it down? Listen, can she's I She's proud you? of you. She's very proud of My yeah. dad's gotten in trouble at work with telling people about me. He put a poster up. They had to take it down. He was a, he's a doctor, so... They didn't. Well, they, you you hail from a family of doctors. Yeah, uh, yeah my sister's right? a doctor, but now my sister has transformed into a life coach. Well, oh, yes, yeah. she's totally dropped uh, cutting up the dead into chunks and is now <laughs> uh, helping right, right. me and <laughs> others with our thoughts. And so, so you're using her as a life coach. Your yeah, uh, yeah, she's. Uh, that doesn't affect the Hippocratic Oath or something. There's not a problem. No, with there's her. no problem. Well, because there's no app, you know licensing in life coaching. There's no right. you know definitive. Uh, <laughs> state boards you have to take, so it's most you know like, yeah. She, she was asking me, for, try practicing on me, and she's asking me for negative thoughts. I said, well, I, you know, I worry I'm too old to be in show business. Mm, okay, uh, Betty White, you're not old enough. Okay, next one, next one. Okay, okay. That's good. She's very economical. Yeah, about yeah. Her advice. She gives it to you right away. Yeah, and yeah. Move on. Yeah, yeah. 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 She's it, it's a it's like word math. You know, you just switch it around and then. Then it's uh it's all it's all great, you know. Oh, I'm afraid of death. Oh, okay. Well, the death's the best thing that ever happened to you. Okay. Well, how great are you willing to let it get? Okay. Next one. Next one. Wow, she sounds very aggressive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, your sister. <laughs> anyway, yeah. I mean, she she doesn't she doesn't sound as much as I have her impersonation as I do, but my mom does. Right. Mom does and my um. My uh, my dad. My, I think the work thing where I try to do a good job. My dad is always uh. I mean, he kind of puts himself down, so then he, uh, you know, he's always making fun of you know, <coughs> you know Marie, you know, your job. <laughs> well, I mean, basically, you know, you sit around eating French fries with your friends and not <laughs> even a way to get paid for it. <laughs> okay. No, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Does dad, your dad speak of uh, uh, those French fries are not free. Does your dad speak proudly of you in restaurants? Uh, yeah, the mumbling and yelling alternately. <coughs> My daughter. Uh, oh, I'm sorry you didn't hear what her name is. Mary Bamford. Right. Oh, I'm sorry you weren't listening. Mary Bamford. Right, he's My got daughter. a very eclectic repertoire of yeah. voices. He does, yeah. He's a yeah. Last year, you built this sizable online following, Maria, with your YouTube comedy series, the Maria Maria Bamford Show. If folks haven't seen this, do head over it and then watch this on YouTube. It's very funny. It's it's based on the idea that you've had a nervous breakdown and you're learning to cope with that. How much of that is true to real life? I have not. I've not experienced mania or that you know having a sort of a psychotic break or anything. But many people in my family have and uh so that some that and so there is some fear there's a genuine fear of like madness um yeah and <laughs> so but i have i've, I've had depression and uh you struggled with ocd, OCD. Yeah, yeah yeah and um and and it's all i mean i don't know if, if you 
Gian, have yes. you experienced those things? Yes, I have. Do you I know, have at times, yes. When you Not all of those things. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know when you hit one and you f- take care of one and then another one pops up. Yeah. You know, like it's like, oh, like I the, thought... Like the I, whack-a-mole. Yeah, 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 yeah. You go, oh, I thought I'd <laughs> dealt with that. And then it's like, oh, I, 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 I got rid of those weird thoughts. So your com- then, is your comedy a way of, of, of helping you through uh, difficult situations like sh- depression? Sure. I mean, I like, yeah, I mean, I, I like talking about things that are of importance... To me, like my, I've got a new suicide chunk, uh, Jeanne. Um, don't do it, people. I know spring's coming, and you're starting to get more energetic, and those plans you got seem more attainable. Don't do it. Right. Oh, right, but right. I'm useless, That's... and I'm a waste of space. That also describes the Grand Canyon and any number of uh, uh, seven wonders of the world. Uh, oh. Are there a few people in your head? Oh, yeah. There are. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. How many people are in your head at any given time? <laughs> Oh no! Uh, I I mean, it is just me. It's just me. Yeah. I mean, like I I I think that's the thing when I play or do characters. It is just me, right. but me what I think of myself. <laughs> You're weird. <laughs> what? It's not funny. It's just weird. It's interesting. You you've been in this business for a relatively long time, oh, but yeah. but when I read articles, even from a few years back, it seems like you're constantly referred to, and this has happened in the last six months, <laughs> as the next big thing. I Is that know. humorous to you? Yeah. Like even now, I see those comments. That she's the new thing. You know, it, it, this is your it's your mantle. It's all, well. It's exciting to always be on the cusp. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I mean, it's good. It's good. And and uh, who says? Uh, I, I don't know if being the big thing is, is that good, right? Right. Right. It's not super fun, right? Right. Because then there's all this pressure, and then uh, then people are paying attention more, right. and then a lot of people have opinions about it on. Uh, on the internet, and then your mom forwards you to your opinions. Did you read what they said? Oh, I didn't need to know that. They really did not like you. Interesting, <laughs> interesting, honey. I'm going to write them back. They're 12. Um, <laughs> well, we, we really like you. They, no, thanks. We've been excited no, no, no. to have yeah, you yeah, here. Thank you so much and, again. And, and <laughs> I'm excited to have you in Canada, but you must go across the country, not just yes, in Toronto next I time. No. Now, how do I do that? Is there a well, bus or a, <laughs> yes. some sort of situation? Yeah, I've heard that Mark Breslin of the Yuck Yucks, that I could only, he has, isn't there some sort of suppression <laughs> there where you can only work yeah, his Sorry, that's, we're out of time. Okay. Uh, wait, you know, we can, we can help organize guys, the bus. it's though. a dictatorship. Maria Bamford. You need to rise up! <laughs> that's Maria Bamford. Her latest album and DVD is called Unwanted Thought Syndrome. It's out on Comedy Central Records, and Maria Bamford has been with me here live in Studio Q.